Well, talk about a rewards program rising a staggering 1,600% since going public in 2006. MasterCard recently announced a 10-for-1 stock split and a dividend hike. Like its competitor Visa, the payment processor is benefiting from the global trend of paying with credit cards instead of cash. But is it time for investors who have made profits to cash out? Mary Thompson has our story. You can go ahead and swipe at any time. It pays to be in the payments business. I'm a big credit card girl. I'll never stop using credit cards. I use credit cards for most of my purchases. It's just more convenient, and I don't like carrying cash around me that much. Yes, cash is still king. MasterCard says it's used to pay for 85% of all consumer purchases. But as more buyers opt to pay with credit and debit cards, analysts say MasterCard and Visa continue to see the payoff. They make fees every time we swipe our cards. MasterCard and Visa operate the networks processing roughly 80% of all the world's debit and credit card transactions, making money from the size and frequency of purchases made with these cards. So even if people spend less, if they pay for more of what they buy with these cards, Visa and MasterCard benefit. So too do their investors. The stock's handily beating the S&P 500's 105% return over the last five years. And analysts don't see these stocks maxing out. With MasterCard getting half of its revenue from outside the U.S., it should benefit from an improving global economy, while its larger rival Visa maintains the dominant position here in the U.S. Analysts say there are still risks, though, like more competitors in the debit card space, an ongoing legal battle with retailers over fees, the chance consumers could become more frugal, and, of course, regulators. They're worried about there being a level a level playing field from a competitive standpoint, as well as fair pricing for consumers and merchants. But in the meantime, Wall Street sees their stock prices charging ahead. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Mary Thompson.